Hi, I'm Abby and I play Blim. Hi, I'm Alicia and I play Musa. Hi, I'm Precious and I play Aisha. Hi, I'm Elliot and I play Tara. Hi, I'm Hannah and I play Stella. And we are the cast of Faith the Wink Saga here with BuzzFeed to take a quiz, figure out which type of fairy we are. First things first, which Hogwarts house combo speaks to you? Leather door, Puffle door, Raven Puff, Slither Puff, Slither Claw, or Griffin Claw? I actually don't know much about these. <laughs> Oh, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> I'm admitting it. I don't know. Griffin Claw. I'm going to go uh, Raven Puff. I see that for you. Slither Puff. You would be okay. in Slytherin. Haven't we spoken about I, this I would be in Slytherin. Because it sounded the best and sounded cool, I, I was going to go for Huffledore. Ooh. I, that actually, I also, actually would see that's that. That's accurate. That yeah. Is, that is accurate. Slither Door because half Slytherin, half Gryffindor. I chose Slither Puff because it sounds like, you know, it's a bit, you know, mysterious, but then a puff of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love that for you. Um I'm I'm going I'm going Raven Puff because I think I'm 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 big Ravenclaw energy. Um but then I <laughs> yeah. think as, I think I'm like um Hufflepuff aesthetic. Um, <laughs> And the part of me, the part of me that is Terra is a Hufflepuff. So I feel like I'm I'm putting that in as a shout out to her really. But I'm pure Ravenclaw. <laughs> you are so Ravenclaw. <laughs> I feel like um, I'm not cool enough to be in Slytherin. So I aspire to be in Ravenclaw. And I always get Gryffindor when I've taken the quiz. Pick a not so superpower. The power to turn wine into water. The power to teleport one foot at a time. The power to control the weather on another planet. The power to turn invisible when no one is looking at you. Shout out to Stella. The power to stop <laughs> time for only five seconds at a time. The power to read the minds of inanimate objects. The wine to water one sounds dreadful. Mm. I definitely don't <laughs> yeah. want that. But maybe after drinking it, you turn the wine back into water so that you don't have a hangover. I'm thinking Ooh, that's quite smart. Clever. That's quite that's smart. very smart. Mm. Oh. I wouldn't <laughs> mind being invisible when no one's looking. I would say the power to read the minds of inanimate objects. I can imagine that you already have that superpower though. Me too. <laughs> I'd like the power to teleport one foot at a time. It would save so much time. I'd never be late for the trains. I'd, I'd always be on time. The good party trick. It'd be good if you could control the weather on other planets because the sun, dial that up, dial that down. Perfect. The sun isn't uh, isn't a planet though. So is it not a planet? It can be a planet. Uh, it can be a planet. Be a planet. Be a planet. 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 You can have that. You can have that. I'm gonna do in inanimate objects too because it'd be really interesting to hug a cushion and they think that it's just nice. Choose another fantastical boss lady to join your squad. Tinkerbell from Peter Pan, Prudence Blackwood from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, Willow Rosenberg from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Margot Hansen from The Magicians, or Sailor Jupiter from Sailor Moon. I'm gonna go with Prudence Blackwood from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I think she's sick. She's definitely got the best hair. She's got the best yeah. hair. She has the best style mm. and she's just a badass all round. Quite opposite character to you as well, so. Yeah, and the well aesthetically done. it'd look cool, you know? We'd Funny. look sick. Yeah, I would choose Prudence, <laughs> for sure. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You get some shade. You have no choice. And then I could play like a different character and try to mess her up. <laughs> I'm going to go with, with most people so far and also say Prudent. I'm going to go with Sailor Jupiter. Too bad. If you couldn't live in Solaria, which fictional land would you inhabit? Hogwarts from Harry Potter, Narnia from The Chronicles of Narnia, Westeros from Game of Thrones, The Capital from The Hunger Games, Wonderland from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, or Wakanda from Black Panther. Who would opt to live in the capital? What a terrible, like, <laughs> place to go to. I'm gonna go Narnia, you know? I'm gonna go Narnia. Wakanda, because they're technologically advanced. Yeah, it's just where it's at, it's good vibes. What can you not leave the house without? A book, AirPods, wallet, a pen, a compact mirror, or chapstick? I went for a pen. Oh, It's practical, and I often like to write stuff down 
when I see mm. them. I always respect people when I'm like, do you have a pen? And they're like, yes. I really rate that. I'm glad I can do that for you. I'm going to go with AirPods because, yeah, I just listen to music all the time and that, that they're useful. <laughs> yeah, that's very you, Prash. Yeah, that is very you. Yeah. I think I'm going to go um, wallet. Pretty useful. I was going to go with wallet <laughs> as well. Sorry. But then I did think I, I actually always use my Apple Pay and also I have forgotten my wallet but remembered a book. So a book for me. I'm going to say wallet. Which Fate the Wink Saga character would you not want to run into in a dark alley? Beatrix, Riven, Andreas, Rosalind, Queen Luna, or a burned one. I would not like to run into a burned one uh, because, yeah, the rest of them, I, I, I guess I could talk out of killing me. Mm. Burned one doesn't really <laughs> listen to reason. <laughs> no, <laughs> burned one too. Yeah, burned one. I'm going to say Queen Luna because she's intimidating. I'm going to say a burned one because those are scary. I would take Riven down in an alley. Pick a set of wings. Angel wings. <laughs> Butterfly wings, eagle wings, Victoria's secret wings, buffalo wings, <laughs> and red bull wings. I'm gonna go with buffalo wings. That's the easy one for me. I'm gonna go Victoria's secret wings because they look the most stylish. I'm gonna go eagle. Eagle. I've gone buffalo. I'm gonna go with angel wings because, uh, yeah, I'm going to heaven. Bloom. Nice. You got bloom. You got. What? I got bloom. Well cast. Ed, I got Lisa. Classic. We both got Aisha. Whenever Elliot and I do quizzes, we always get the same answers. You got Aisha. You're grounded, <laughs> calm, and cool-headed. At times, you can be a tad bit too cautious, but that's only because you care about your loved ones and don't want to see them in harm. You got Musa. You're too cool for school and pique the interest of everyone you meet. At times, you can be a little in your own head, but that's because you only trust the most worthy of people with your feelings. You got bloom. You're strong-willed, tenacious, and dare I say, fiery. At times, you can be a little bit stubborn, but that's only because you're an extremely <laughs> determined person who needs to see things through to the end. They're all pretty yeah. complimentary. It would be awful if, if it was like, you're Stella, you're a dreadful lady. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been an aw awkward end to the question. <laughs> The first four episodes, you're gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs>